Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. I'm going to have a look at the weather. It's 10 to 14 days for today's second video. Day 10 will take us to the 19th of February. And we'll be able to set up beyond that. It says GFS and ECM ensembles. Very much around a couple of weeks. Have a look at CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. And that gets us well into the early section of March. I should get on that for you in a moment. Just say at first video is saying was our uh, 6M upload. No USA forecast this week. There's lots going on here at Gaz Webber's Towers in terms of uh, Mrs. P arriving home. So um, I'm really busy. So uh, no time for USA forecast. It should be back, though, uh, next week. Right, we'll start off having a look at the Arctic Oscillation Observed and Forecast chart. So the black line shows where we've been, with the AA, the red lines at the end, where the GFS ensembles are forecasting the Arctic Oscillation to go. So, for most of this winter, the AO has been in a positive phase, although it did go for a negative period in the second half of December, when we almost had a cold Christmas. But otherwise, it's been generally positive with the Arctic Oscillation, where we are right now, is in positivity of BAO and the GFS ensembles are forecasting that the Arctic Oscillation is going to stay positive right the way through in towards the latter stages of February uh, now. And it's not just a positive AO, it's a very positive AO, but we've got and forecast to keep uh, as well with strong positivity of the AO continuing, you know, towards the latter stages of February. Uh, NAO, observed and forecasting like this. So again, the black line shows where we've been with the North Atlantic Oscillation. Red lines at the end with GFS and Sobbles forecasting NAO to go. We're currently in positive territory with the NAO and uh, the GFS on Sobbles are forecasting that the NAO is going to stay in positive territory right way in towards the last stages of February also. And this is very much a signal, therefore, for Wesley's and Zonality when you've got both of these indexes positive, particularly when they're as positive as this. Uh, this is a very, very strong signal for Zonality and for Westerlies and for unsettled Atlantic driven weather. So uh, we're in for we're in for Westerlies, definitely, and Zonality from this scenario. Uh, CT looking like this, uh, currently standing at 7.3, that's normally 2.9 degrees above average, that is provisional to uh, yesterday to the 8th of February. GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles are looking like this. We're at Birmingham again today. The red line is 30 at upper air temperature average for Birmingham. Starting off near normal at the moment. You have a cooler interlude, a cooler snap coming up uh, in the second half of this week. Bit milder over weekend into the beginning of next week. Rather up and down, rather zonal. Um, very mild sector coming through just there uh, in around uh, a week's time. Um, and then just very close to average precipitation. Why? It'll be a lot of dry weather. Over the next few days, and then it gets more unsettled into the second half of the month, middle to second half of uh, February, turning uh, significantly more unsettled with uh, a lot of precipitation spikes uh, then. Far as two meter temperatures are concerned, they look like this. So it is very mild today, but will be turning cooler over the next few days. Milder again, the end of week into the weekend, but a bit cooler again only next week. Very mild for a time around the middle of next week. And then probably close to or a bit above average snow row. Looks like that. So not much happening in terms of snow. Lots of dry weather over the next few days. But we could see an increase in the chance of snow around the 17th to the 21st of February. Uh, something like that. Temperature anomalies from the 9th to 17th of February going to be a little bit above average, particularly so for England and Wales. Precipitation anomalies from the 9th to 17th of February, wetter than average in northern and western areas, near normal precipitation though elsewhere. The latest wind flow map from EarthNullSchool.net shows uh, that uh, we've got westerlies in uh, today. So uh, we're changing the wind direction. We are losing the very mild southwesterly influence that uh, we've had over the last... Still got, still, still got it today, some degree in the south, but been very mild over the past couple of days. So I suppose parts go to, but we're changing that wind direction, actually pulling in more of a west to uh, even northwesterly. 
uh, direction from a cooler source in the North Atlantic. Right, so let's go from chart data then. This is how the UK Met Euro is looking for midnight on Saturday. High pressure is slipping away then. Uh, low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic. That's turning us increasingly wet and windy. This deep area of low pressure brings lots of heavy rain and some quite strong winds as well through the uh, second half weekend into the upper half next week. Uh, we keep it on set to really right way to the middle of next week. This is uh, midnight on Wednesday, 16th February, when this next area of low pressure, there it is out across Ireland on, on Tuesday by midnight on Wednesday. That's Push across England away. So it might deliver a little bit of snow to northern areas. Um, but the main thing is that it would be uh, really wet and, and quite windy uh, with that. Icon looks like this. Again, uh, low pressure is driving in from off the Atlantic over the next few days. Very, very unsettled look to the weather up to middle next week. You might even have some severe gale force winds across some parts of the country. So wet, windy with Icon. The uh, GFS midnight run again shows high pressure is slipping away into the continent. Lower pressure. Coming in off the Atlantic, turning us wetter and windier through to the uh, weekend. Opad next week, that low pressure transfers away to the east and pulls in those cold northerly winds. More low pressure moving in off the Atlantic through the middle of next week, albeit with a little bit more influence from the Azores High compared to like the UK Met and Icon. So the low pressure further north, but even so, looking pretty unsettled, wet and windy up towards day 10. Beyond day 10, the GFS midnight run then has high pressure taking over again. And uh, that's like a spring-like area of high pressure, pulling up wind from the south. So you would expect overnight frost and fog. Uh, with that, but by day, probably pleasantly uh, mild with, uh, you know, uh, early spring sunshine. By the very end of the uh, GFS midnight run, it's starting to turn more unsettled again as lower pressure begins to push in from off the Atlantic Ocean. GFS 6Z again shows the high pressure is collapsing into the continent on Saturday. Lower pressure taking over from off the Atlantic. Maybe we could have interlude early next week as winds turn into the north with the low pressure transferring into the north. Sea. And then more low pressure coming in off the Atlantic as head up towards day 10. Looking flat as a pancake, very westerly, Atlantic driven further outbreaks of rain and uh, particularly so for more northern areas. Could be cold enough for some snow over high ground in particular in the north at times. In more extending range, no high pressure from the GFS 6Z. Uh, instead, we just turn it very, or keep it very unsettled. In fact, extremely so. Look at that, it's 23rd of February. Really cyclonic, 965 millibar area of low pressure right over top of the country. It's very, very low pressure indeed. And uh, we keep this onslaught going, you know, right way up to the end of the uh, GFS 6Z, which today gets us to the 25th of February. GM is looking like that. Again, low pressure is out in the Atlantic, but we bring wet and windy weather in from off the Atlantic over weekend and into the early part of next week. Just keeping that Atlantic influence going all the way up to day 10, which will be the 19th of February. ECM again showing that it's really unsettled, moving to day 10 and beyond it. Very wet and windy Atlantic onslaught. By day 10, maybe a little bit of influence by the high pressure over France. But even then, it's still flat, really very westerly with further rain at times, particularly so for northern areas. The precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Spetcho.com looks like this. Plenty of rain coming and going. Uh, particularly for southern areas wet uh, in the south. And at times there could be some snow, uh, you know, uh, on the northern edge of some of this rain across high ground in the northern regions in particular. Um, and that just carries on really all the way up towards day 10, further bouts of rain. Uh, rain in the south, snow at times in the north. There could be quite a bit of snow from this pattern for like high ground of Scotland. The Scottish ski resorts could do really well with this uh, sort of pattern. Uh, with uh, with snow, but further south, of course, it will just be lots and lots and lots of cold rain. These will be options on the table within the ECM Ensemble today for day 10, which will get us to the 19th of February. 14 members of the ECM Ensembles will have low pressure right over top of the country, looking very, very unsettled with that. Another 14 with low pressure up to the north and high pressure to the south, but looking pretty flat. And Wesley of that, another 11 with low pressure again to the north, high pressure to the south again, winds in from a westerly direction. Uh, eight again with low pressure to the north, high pressure to the south, looking very flat and westerly with that. And then four with low pressure away to the northwest, high pressure to our southeast. And again, in comes those winds from the west. All options look unsettled, you know, all options looking very unsettled at uh, day 10 in two weeks' time. 
These are the options that we've got. This will get us to the 24th of February. 18 members of the ECM ensembles. Blow pressure to the north and high pressure to the south. Winds will be coming in from a westerly direction. It's going to be mainly dry in the south, but more unsettled further north. 14 with low pressure in off the Atlantic. That looks very, very unsettled indeed. 11 with low pressure way to the northwest. High pressure is to our south southeast. That's like what the midnight GFS run was doing. Uh, so that's drier with that area of high pressure. Could be frost and flood, but would be quite spring like by day as well. Winds coming up from southwest. And then eight with high pressure sitting over and to the east of the coach. Again, plenty of dry weather with that. And there could be uh, overnight frost and flood. That might be a slightly cooler position of that high pressure dragging the air in from off the coast. It's very nearly a Scandinavian high, but not quite. Uh, CFSV2 finally beats a 500 millibar heights broken down into wheat periods. The first wheat period takes us from the 9th to the 15th of February. The coming week looks unsettled with low pressure in off the Atlantic and uh, looks yeah, you know, really unsettled in the week ahead. Week 2 also looks unsettled. This is the 16th to 22nd of February. Low pressure again to our north. High pressure ridging in from the Atlantic into Mediterranean to the south. Winds in from a westerly direction. So uh, yes, weeks 1 and 2 both looking really unsettled. Week 3 is going to be the 23rd of February to the 1st of March with high pressure to the south and over country. Lower pressure is to the north. Mainly dry again uh, with that or totally mainly dry with that and probably very spring-like. And then week 4 is going to be the 2nd to the 8th of March. Again with high pressure in right over the top of the country. Brings lots of dry weather and there could be frost and fog by night. But by day it would be pleasantly mild and spring-like. Right, if you enjoyed the video, please can you smash your like button, make sure you sub to the channel. Thank you so much for doing that. Don't forget to tell your friends and family about Gals Web is and drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. So if everybody who subscribes brings a friend, we'll get to our ultimate target of 14,000 subscribers that much more quickly. Okay, uh, we're done then. So, uh, that's it. Um, that's it for today's video. Don't you say forecast, I say. Very, very busy uh, today, tomorrow. All being well, we'll have a 6 a.m. upload. The uh, EC, no, the European Outlook. Well, the next week, 10 days. And a 10 to 14 day uh, with all of the regular features as well. You enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. And for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.